G'day guys, Sci-Fi back again with another action figure backtracking. Yes, I've got nothing new to show. Um, so here we are. I managed to pick up a few figures that I didn't that I passed over um, due to the fact that other figures were coming out. And so yeah, here we go. Uh, number eighty. Grand. Oh, sorry, Vice Admiral Holdo. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you're going to unsubscribe or dislike or whatever. I don't care. Go for it. Um, drop a comment down below and we can argue some more. Yeah, it's not a bad figure. Um, yeah, good luck, Mr. Laura Dern on the box there. Titus artwork. I don't know who does all the new stuff. But here we are. That looks pretty cool. If it bloody will focus. Anyways, yeah, so you've got the soft goods and you've got hard goods. Yeah, it's a great looking figure. I mean, I'm one of these people who is a completist, and I will. Whoop, she's gonna not stand up right. Yep, I'm a completist. I will. Get any new character to put in my display. New characters. Doesn't matter if they're human, alien, droid. I don't care. As long as they're new, you know, I'll get pretty sick of buying, or well, sick of seeing, you know, Han Solo looking left, Anakin Skywalker looking right, Obi-Wan Kenobi with a new lightsaber. You know, like that, you know. New characters. So if you go by by display, you can just walk around and go, oh, that one as well. They actually made it. They did. Not many people liked it or liked the movie. I'm on the fence with this one, with the movie, The Last Jedi. Yeah, there's plenty of potholes and plot holes, should I say. Yeah. I mean, how the hell? I mean, it was, a, it was a great scene. It looked fantastic. And she kicked on the hyperdrive and smashed through the supremacy ship. Snoke ship. Again, who the hell is Snoke? Why did he die so quick? Anyway, more plot holes. Again. So, yeah, she ploughed straight through that and boom, you know, took out a dozen or, or so... Star Destroyers as well. But I've got two words for that. Um, in The Empire Strikes Back, when Han Solo decides to um, turn the ship around. Man, it's fucking bad focusing. And he decides to go after a Star Destroyer. Does a kamikaze run. Two words. Shields up. Captain Nita said it. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know how. Yeah, it just happens. I've got no scientific, you know, knowledge of hyperspace travel. And neither does anyone else, really. But, yeah. Anyway, so here we go. Kira. Six inch figure. This is great. Looks cool. I actually do have a couple of um the three three quarter versions of her, three seven five, whatever you want to know. And still so she's got that salty looking gown on her. Again, she disappears from the Star Wars universe in a different way. Um she ends up speaking to Darth Maul. You know, she's like, yeah, there we go. Laura Dern. Does look like Laura Dern, if you can actually bloody focus on it. Yeah, Laura Dern. That does look like her. Amelia Clark. That does look like her. If I can focus on these damn things. Yeah, so anyway, she disappears from the Star Wars universe. Um, by speaking to Darth Maul and... Becoming part of the Crimson Dawn. 
and then it ends. Boom, boom. Solo, Star Wars story. I love the... People sit there and go, oh, we didn't need to see that film. Didn't need to hear that story. I'm like, bullshit. Man, Solo, a Star Wars story, was a thing I've been wanting for years. As a kid, as a young kid in the 70s, early 80s, reading um, Han Solo, The Lost Legacy, Han Solo at Star's End. These are stories that should have been, yeah, they've been around. How does Han Solo make friends with Chewbacca? How does he get the YT-300 Millennium Falcon? These are stories that have been told, should be told, and then some of you people sit there and go, oh, it shouldn't have been told. Too bad. But anyways, yeah. So, Millie Clark, Kira. Han Solo's first love, I'm assuming. I know that feeling. Yeah. Jesus, my first love wasn't with my wife. You know, and you get a bit cynical. I know that thing. I know that feeling. Yep. And it goes away. You still become cynical. I'm cynical about all sorts of shit. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah, it's a great figure. Glad to pick them up. Both very cheap. Um, and just down the road in another country town called Murren Bateman. That's where I bought them from. Hey, how cool is that? Still, very cool additions to my collection. Now, I have a funny feeling that Kira is going to make an appearance in the Bad Batch with the Crimson Dawn, whatever you call it. That's just my, just remember, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Who cares? There's the guns, just a couple of pistols. She zaps good old. She stitches up Poe Dameron pretty well with that, and yeah, we know the picture. Alrighty, so there we go. None of this bloody forces with the forces female or SJW, blah, 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 we all know. There's always been powerful women in the Star Wars universe. Always knew it, even as a kid I knew it. But who cared? It's just people. People in the Star Wars universe. So there we go. That's my backtracking and a bit of a yarn. All right. I'll leave you all to it. I'm hitting the eight minute mark. I'm going to disappear. And I'll be back with a couple of sci fi subscribers' choices for um, a couple of good mates of mine. All right. There we go. And the force is with you. Always. Sci-fi out.